Hi guys, today I want to talk about the e bag controller, this big controller for the e bag and uh, I, will, I will show you the different kinds and how you choose it and how you uh, install it. Um, yeah, that's the topic. So I have uh, three kinds so far. So this is a cheaper one, that's expensive one. This is a, you know, right now it's pretty popular. It's a VESC, uh, it's a open source uh, EIC. Um, become really popular but uh, yeah like I said I'm gonna show you the difference uh, so basically the the expensive one is oh this is uh, like a $50 and this uh, I think about $400 and that one the VEIC is about $100 uh, that's the uh, price and uh, the major uh, different for, the major feature for the the, 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 the expensive one is uh, you know it has uh, uh, you can program on your computer uh, there, there are features like a rig and brake so the base the basically the rig and brake is uh, you push you push that brake it will uh, recharge your batteries um, that's kind of the major features for those um, but most time the, <laughs> the rig and charge is very little very very little you can't you, you don't need to really count on those uh, yeah that's pretty much for the expensive uh, ESC it has I use those I don't really use those for the e-bag but I do use those for my uh, power gliding uh, winch so I use a rig and brake like a tension control for the for the winch, uh, for the power guiding winch. Uh, that's that's what I use this uh, uh, expensive, uh, you know, uh, EIC speed controller. And uh, the popular one is the uh, VEIC. Uh, so this is the open source, which means uh, you know. People will keep adding the feature. Uh, you can keep upgrading the firmware, uh, those kind of stuff. But think about this is a this is a not designed for the for the you know e bag. You see the e bag have so many <laughs> wires come out, right? So this is not really designed for the e bag. So if you use this for the e bag. Uh, the major uh, disadvantage is you can control in the low speed. Uh, all the e bag controller, you can, you know, you push a very little throttle, you can travel like a five mile, six mile per hour. But with this ESC, you, you cannot really, you know, control with very little speed. Those, uh, those are, those are not designed for those. This is, so those ESC is basically from the RC toys, you know, to control the RC airplane, RC boat, RC car, you know, those kind of stuff. So they don't really, they can't really control in the very low speed. Uh, yeah, this is a major disadvantage for those ESC. Uh, yeah. And, uh, and, Come back with this uh, cheaper one. This is a, this is the one that I usually use. Uh, the the thing I like is uh, is you know the old uh, all the wires it just plug in. You know, uh, you can you can you can just plug in the one you want to use. So you don't you don't need to you know leave those sort of massive wire around. You know. And uh, it's very simple design. You put a you know uh, you know power battery link here, and the face wire goes here, and then plug in the feature you need. So that makes the uh, installation much uh, much simple. And uh, I have uh, I have the the motor right here. I just uh, hook up this motor right here. You see. Um, and 
and uh, I just basically link so uh, you know whole sensor right here um, and then uh, also link the face wire in there and uh, those are battery will link to my 80 volt batteries and I will show you a basic setup of that um, so what happened when you first install the, the speed controller on your uh, uh, e-bag is uh, uh, the face wire probably not really match with your whole, whole sensor and then you have to um, rematch the whole sensor with the fish face wire and they will that will be take a uh, you know hours to do it <laughs> you know <laughs> usually people really hate the cheaper ESC because uh in, because of that you know you you got to match of this uh, whole sensor with uh, face wear i show you what's what's going on if see i just link this it's not really matched at all if i just plug in the battery and then uh, turn it on the throttle because the throttle is linked okay. it doesn't really turn something oh this is not this throttle <laughs> it, yeah too many messy uh, stuff right here right uh, I turn it on it shows the voltage if I gave the if I gave the throttle you can see the motor doesn't really move huh? it just make a some uh, stucking sound but it doesn't really move uh, yeah that's what happened and uh, in that situation you're going to rematch the face wire with your uh, whole sensor and the process I can show you on the computer yeah that's uh, how it look like you know um, that's uh, basically you know sensor the black uh, brushless motor whole sensor and the face wire configuration you know you start with uh you know that's your face wire oh no no this is your whole sensor wire to uh, match on uh, each color and this is your face wire you know that's three colors and uh, if it's not work you're going to change that you know face wire and uh, one by one one by one <laughs> And uh, after these whole things, if this still not work, then you have to change each of this, uh, you know, whole sensor wire and do do this whole process again. Uh, yeah, this is it <laughs> if you plug in that that doesn't match with the uh, you know uh, whole sensor with the fifth layer it will take you a couple of hours to finish this setup so yeah that's the, that's what happened when people bought a cheaper uh, EIC and then they figure out oh my god this, <laughs> this is take forever to set up it <laughs> but uh, with this with this EIC so uh, basically you have the self-learning cable you can plug in to uh you know you will learn the whole sensor with uh, you know face wire will configure on itself and uh i'll show you on the computer of that feature as well so basically this is a this is a manual for this uh for this uh, eic um <laughs> you know all those kind of uh, eic is made from china uh, usually the product from China don't have any uh, good menu they don't have any good instruction at, at, at all you know uh, it, it's hard to figure out those things you know <laughs> if you read each of this it's really hard to figure out there each of those stuff and uh, I, I, I will go a little through about this and then show you uh, what's going on with those stuff you can see this is a reverse rotation which means you can uh, if the motor rotating in the wrong direction you can do this from here and uh, this is the display 
um, this phase for the easy um, and the push button gear I don't really even know this push button gear was F4 <laughs> uh yeah there there they don't have uh, any details they don't uh explain what this is for you know <laughs> that's what's going on with the chinese florida and the power lock it's basically is you know the key lock or something and uh, uh yeah the whole sensor wire that's a whole sensor wire the six wire for the whole sensor and the throttle and the low brake uh, the low brake basically when you push the brake uh, it will shut down the motor uh, they have low brake and high brake high brake basically it has uh, you have the voltage in there the low brake simply just on off switch um, alarm uh, alarm power yeah that's a high brake uh, hybrid means they have a power on the wire uh, yeah they, they, you see the here self-learning integration identify cable so that's the cable will be uh, you, when you plug in you will learn it on itself to figure out which uh, how you how how the motor can free uh, how how to configure the whole sensor with uh, face wire so if you don't <laughs> read closely you don't really know what that means you know uh yeah that's uh, that's uh, that's what i'm talking about if if it, they come with this cable you can use this cable to uh, you know let the controller figure out the whole sensor setup and the cruise control What's else here? Uh, brake signal, three speed gear. Yeah, that's yeah, that's something. Yeah, that's a really common. You know the uh, the the manual from the EIC. I mean, this actually gave you a manual. A lot of you know cheaper ESC don't even give you a manual. You just put a lot a, a little <laughs> tag <laughs> on each uh, on each wires. So uh, yeah, it's really hard to uh, figure it out. Um, okay, let's uh, let's let me show you how you are learning on those. So basically, uh, the, we have. We we have show you on the on the menu. There have a, you know the green wire. This two green wire is called a self learning wire. You know, um, and uh, so right now I turn this off. Okay, and the battery is linked. If I plug in this, and plug in this. Okay, those are plug in. And then I turn it on. Okay. You self learn how to turn the motors. And right now, if the motor direction is not right, you can push the throttle all the way. It will change the rotor direction. Okay. I don't know if you can see on the. So you change the rotor direction, okay? You change the rotor direction. So once you got the right uh, direction, and you just uh, turn it off, and then uh, unplug uh, this uh, this uh, learning cable, okay? Right now it's fully set up, so you don't you don't really plug in this anymore if i turn this on okay you see the motor doesn't really move but if i give throttle it will move like a normal you know that's the self-learning cable yeah you have to figure this out you know whenever you <laughs> want to buy some cheaper uh, you know eic 
then uh, make sure they have something like that. Otherwise, it will take a long time to figure out these whole sensor wires. Okay. Uh, yeah, all my setup, all my e bike setup, I pretty much only use those kind of cheaper ESC. Like I say, it only costs like $50 or something. But I, I do the bunk order from the Alibaba. Um, but I think those are available from eBay or Amazon or somewhere, you know, for those. Yeah, I and mean, uh, this is uh, pretty uh, durable actually. I, I use uh, on my e bike, you know, a couple of years already. You know, those are work really fine. It's, I don't I don't feel any problem at all. So, the good product and very cheap. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's the today topic. And uh, I'm going to uh, use those ESC on my uh, track that I'm going to build. Uh, so you can see how this track works. Okay.